Hey guys, Dakota here from Basement Biotech. I'm going to do a short video on a new thermocycler my friend and I got off of eBay. This is an Idaho Technologies Rapid Cycler. It's the first version. Uh, it's a little old, but it should still do what it was meant to do, I hope. Now this machine is a little different than conventional PCR machines because it doesn't use a Peltier element to heat and cool your samples. It uses a halogen lamp inside and then a fan to circulate hot and cold air. You can see that white rotor in there. That's one of the fan blades. Now another difference between this and conventional PCR machines is that it doesn't use those plastic tubes. It actually uses glass capillary tubes. This one's set up for 50 microliters. This deck set up for 10 microliters and this deck is also set up for 10 microliters. But neither of these have this little stand that goes down the bottom. This is what I'm still trying to figure out. It looks like the capillary tubes go through these little holes here, make a nice tight seal, and then perforate down through the rubber. But there are no holes in this rubber septum, so I don't understand how the sample tubes actually get down into the chamber. Maybe this machine wasn't ever used. Um, the 10 microliters, it kind of looks like something's poking through, but maybe it is so I have to look into getting those to actually test it run a gel and see if it works but I'm gonna start it up here and show you how it works we'll take this off so you can see the light the reason we chose this one is because it's able to amplify target sequences below a thousand base pairs much faster than a conventional PCR machine so this is totaled as being able to amplify target sequences of a couple hundred base pairs up to a thousand base pairs in 15 minutes whereas a conventional PCR machine might take an hour to three hours depending on your cycle functions so we'll see here we'll go to the first program which was already pre-programmed in here notice that the denature time sorry the denaturing temperature is at 94 centigrade but the time is zero seconds the annealing temperature is at 55 centigrade and the time is at zero seconds and the only thing that is actually longer than zero seconds is the 15 second elongation time now the theory behind this is that when you're dealing with such small target sequences your denaturation and annealing temperature can actually be zero seconds where in most other cases I think sometimes they hold it for a couple seconds to maybe a minute I'm not sure so don't don't quote me on that. But it's definitely much faster than a conventional PCR machine. You also get ramp rates, which are much faster. I think this can do, I mean, you, you'll see it drop from 94 at the denaturing temperature all the way down to the annealing temperature in maybe three seconds, if even. So, oh, sorry, camera got snagged there for a second. So we'll hit run. As soon as I sh shut that, the ramp temperature went way up. And once it hits 94, you'll see the top open. Almost there, 10 more degrees. Four more. So that opens. And you can see the temperature rapidly falls from 94 down to annealing at 55, zero second hold, and then back up to 672 for the elongation. And so this thing's opening and closing pretty rapidly to keep the temperature within one degree, which is pretty impressive. And we're only on cycle one. After the 15 seconds is over, it'll shut and ramp back up to 94 pretty quickly. The vent will open down to the annealing temperature of 55. So you can see that the ramp times and the cycle times are pretty fast. So now all I need is to get an actual glass capillary tube, try this out, and 
let's see if it works because this would be a great machine to save lots of time if you're going to be amplifying short sequences consistently. So thanks for watching and I'll keep you updated on whether this thing still does what it was intended to do. Thanks.